It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB Fuck Fuck Family. Thank you, Laura. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. It's been a ride. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some of you might still be in that place. Yeah. If you're trying to get out, just follow me. I'll get you there. You can try and read my lyrics off of this paper before I lay them. But you won't take the sting out these words before I say them. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna let you stop me from causing man. When I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm doing this for me. So fuck the world, feed it beans. It's gassed up. If it thinks it's stopping me, I'm gonna be. Oh, damn. Didn't even real hold on did i just catch something in this song i've never fucking caught before that is wild if i did i but i really think i did yeah he said i'm doing this for me so fuck the world feed it beans it's gassed up if it thinks it's stopping me it's gassed up and after you eat beans you're usually gassy i never caught that before man what Oh yeah, that just hyped me up. Let's go. For this paper before I lay him. But you won't take the sting out these words before I say him. Cause ain't no way I'ma let you stop me from causing man. When I say I'ma do something, I do it. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm doing this for me. So fuck the world, feed it beans. It's gassed up. If it thinks it's stopping me, I'ma be what I set out to be. Without a doubt, undoubtedly. And all those who look down on me, I'm tearing down your balcony. Without a doubt, undoubtedly. And all those who look down on me, I'm tearing down your balcony. Like right there, it's amazing. Cause if you look down on me, if you look down on me, I'm gonna overcome that. I'm, and then I'm gonna flip that on you and I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't doubt me or why you shouldn't look down on me. Because I am, like he just has that personality. I have that same exact personality. That is another, that, that is one specific thing with M that I definitely relate with uh, to the T. I've always had that personality my entire life. Like, if you try to downplay me or make or make me look a certain type of way, I'm going to flip that some way, somehow. And I and I'm gonna dedicate myself to make sure I do. Um, I just am that type of way. Like, oh thank you, Larry. But that that's just the type of nature I have. But then the whole, if you look down on me, I'm tearing down your balcony. And if you tear down someone's balcony because they're looking down on you, so that must mean that that means that they think they're above you. A balcony's above you. But then if you tear down someone's balcony and they're standing on that balcony and you tear it down, they're going to fall down. And then you'll be on top of them because they're going to be falling down on the ground and you're going to be above them looking down on them. So you're gonna flip it on them. Oh. But you won't take the sting out these words before I say them. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna let you stop me from causing man. When I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm doing this for me. So fuck the world, feed it beans. It's gassed up. If it thinks it's stopping me, I'm gonna be what I set out to be. Without a doubt, undoubtedly. And all those who look down at me, I'm tearing down your balcony. No fans of bust, I'm trying to ask him why, how can he? From infinite down to the last relapse album, me still sitting. Whether he's on salary, paid out. Until he bows out or shit. Like, did you hear how he said that? I, right now I'm focusing on the rhyme scheme. Just because it, like, just, just, I want everyone to pay attention to. He's doing this entire rhyme scheme the entire time. Right here. I don't give a damn what you think. Right here is where he started. So feed it beans, it's gassed up if he thinks he's stopping me. So right here from me is where he starts it. The entire time, I'm going to be what I set out to be, undoubtedly. Who looked down on me, tearing down your balcony? No ifs, ands, or buts. Don't try to ask him why or how he, or how can he? Uh, the last relapse album, he's shit and whether he's on salary, paid hourly, until he bows out or me, or until he bows out or he. Like, he literally made that bows out or he, he made that go together. That is immaculate, and he's done. He's doing this the entire time. I'm gonna do something. I do it. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm doing this.
for me So fuck the world, feed it beans It's gassed up, everything's just stopping me I'ma be what I set out to be Without a doubt, undoubtedly And all those who look down on me I'm tearing down the balcony No way fans are bust, I'm trying to ask him why How can he? From infinite down to the last relapse album He's still shitting whether he's on salary Paid hourly until he battles out Or he shits his battles out of him Whichever comes first, for better or worse He's married to the game Like a fuck you for Christmas His gift is a curse He's married to the game like a fuck you for Christmas. His gift is a curse. He's married to the game. He's married to the rap game like a fuck you for Christmas because of all the fucking stress that the rap game has gave has put him through just personally with him um, externally with all the haters he gets uh, the, the obsession he has with it. He probably looks, and that's why right after he said, his gift is a curse. You know, like you, I, he's not just talking about the haters. He's saying it's a curse for him because he, he has to, it, it's messed up his family. Um, it's, it's literally took his entire life from him. Just uh, on the obsession part alone. Uh, that's where the married the the marry the marriage part comes in at um it's led him down horrible paths um it introduced him to all the fame which is just a bigger headache and a bigger problem um and it kept him isolated and trapped and now he can't go anywhere because of that fame so for him to say that, and then it's like a fuck, it, it, fuck you for Christmas. His gift is a curse. <laughs> so it's a gift because it got him to where he's at, but it's a curse because he got it got him to where he's at. That's fight. Uh, how can he? From infinite down to the last relapse album, he's still shitting whether he's on salary, paid hourly until he battles out or he shits his battles out of him. Whichever comes first, for better or worse, he's married to the game. Like a fuck you for Christmas. His gift is a curse. Forget the earth. He's got the earth to pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. Pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. If his dick is in the dirt, he's fucking the dirt. But fuck. The universe, like, fuck you guys, but he's also literally fucking the universe. Because his dick is in the dirt. That's, that's fire too. And I, I know he said another thing too that we gotta, we gotta. The reason salary paid hourly until he battles out or he shits his battles out of him. Whichever comes first, for better or worse. He's married to the game, like a fuck you for Christmas. His gift is a curse. Forget the earth, he's got the. Oh yeah, forget the earth. He's got the urge to pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. But, but, so if his dick is in the dirt, he's fucking the universe. But, he, but if he pulls his dick out of the dirt, now he, he, he's putting his dick in the universe. So he's, he's, he's expanding it, which is just hilarious to me. But then he's saying, fuck you to everyone. And then he started it with forget the earth. And then the urge, like when you're literally fucking someone or something or whatever the case is, that's where the urge wordplay comes in there. Um, and then he said, forget the earth. And then he said, from, I, I want to pull my dick out from the dirt and F the whole universe. So now he's looking to expand it. And that's what he means by forget the earth. That's just all in all, it's just a fire bar. Like that's like a triple meaning right there. Just throwing it in there. The the fuck you for Christmas is gift of the curse is another triple meaning. Just throwing it in there. He's married to the game. Like a fuck you for Christmas. His gift is a curse. Forget the earth. He's got the earth to pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. I shouldn't have to rhyme these words in the rhythm for you to know it's a rap. Come on now. Look at that. Okay, quit playing. And he's starting the second verse off like this. And he, he's, he, this is just how he's starting the second verse. Quit playing with the scissors and shit and cut the crap. 
Like, cut the bullshit, right? Stop playing games. Stop bullshitting yourself. So that's where the metaphor comes in. But if you look at the words literally, and you look at the wordplay, quit playing with the scissors. If you play with scissors, you're you're probably cutting shit. That's how you're playing with scissors. Um, so cut the crap. Cut the shit and cut the crap. I shouldn't have to rhyme these words in a rhythm for you to know it's a rap. <laughs> I shouldn't have to rhyme these words in a rhythm for you to know it's a rap. Like when when I used to say it's a rap, I still say it's a rap all the time. But like, it's a rap. Like you're done. It's over. It's a done deal. Like it's a rap. Wrap it up. Show's over, right? But if he's talking to someone in particular, like on some talking shit level, it's like, bro, it's a rap for you. I don't know why you would want to try to fight me. It's a rap. Like this shit's dead and over with. Uh, so he says it that way too, but then I shouldn't have to rhyme these words in a rhythm. He's rhyming, he's literally rhyming the words on a rhythm. Like I shouldn't have to do all this. I shouldn't have to do all this to showcase to you my talent, but I got to. And then I got to do it at the level that I do it just to fucking show you you're not. If you feel right. like you and cut the crap I shouldn't have to rhyme these words in the rhythm for you to know it's a rap you said you was king you lied through your teeth for that fuck your feelings instead of kidding crown your kitten cap into the fans I never understood that bar um and like I I always understood the instead of getting crowned you're getting capped I always understood the um the I don't know if that would be the second meaning or the first meaning right but I always understood the, like the street talk of it. Like instead of you getting all the accomplishments, instead of you getting crowned like you're the best, you're getting capped. <laughs> like you're getting out of here. I've always understood that part, but I I never understood the literal meaning of, uh, you lied through your teeth, fuck your feelings. But he he made it sound like feelings, and I know about this now. The day I understood this bar or this whole scheme was the day I got all my teeth fixed. <laughs> and he said, instead of getting crowned, you're getting capped because you get crowns. And I had to get, I had to get five root canals and five crowns all at one time. It, I was, I, my procedure was four hours in the dentist chair for four effing hours, yo. Four hours straight. He did it all at once. Four hours with my damn mouth open. Pause. But that shit was horrible. Oh my gosh, yo. Uh, but then he also said, you said you was king. And then he said, you're getting crowned. So the king and crown. But then you lied through your teeth. And so teeth, fillings, crown as in teeth work, capped as in they put caps in, teeth work. Like that is blood through your teeth for that fuck your feelings instead of kidding crown your kitten cap into the fans i never let you down again i'm back i promise to never go back on that promise in fact let's be honest at last we last cd was there perhaps i ran the maxims into the ground relax i ain't going back to that now all i'm trying to say is get back to black cloud because i ain't playing around it's a game called circle and i don't know how i'm way too up to back down but i'm way too up to back down like, I'm way, to, I'm like, his motivation is so high at this point. My motivation, like, I just, I, I just quit. Uh, you know, I'm sober now. Um, I've been, so he's been sober for a little bit at this point. But like, he got that, that oomph moment. You know, it's so funny. It, it's so like ironic to me when I hear M say, that he didn't really like relapse, which I, I I can understand that he comes from like why he would think that, but I also think it's ironic because relapse is the album that he taught himself how to rap again, and relapse is the album that had to have brought his motivation up, you know, because he's been gone for so long, and then he comes back and he makes relapse. And so in order for it, but, but relapse literally 
with that make or break moment for him to know if fans still were there for him because he's been out of the game. So now the first thing he puts out is relapse. So it's like, if no one would have showed up for relapse, he, he wouldn't have made recovery. So I would think that M would hold relapse at a very like special place in his heart. Like I would think relapse would be like a huge honor for him, but he doesn't look at it like that which I, I think, I just think that's ironic because if it was me, I would hold Relapse to a very special place because it's literally the album that taught me how to rap again, you know? But I think he holds recovery at that special place in his heart. And I think that's what made him make re- recovery because he said in an interview one time, on the Kamikaze interview, he said if it wasn't for... If it, on the Sway in the Morning interview, he said, if it wasn't for a relapse, I wouldn't have been able to make recovery. And what I think he means, like, specifically with that is relapse taught him how to rap again, but I think recovery is the route of what he, like, the what he wanted to put out for relapse, but he... Since he had to teach himself how to rap again, his only route back into it was to like try something like accents, which would make sense because if you look at M's life and M's career, like M knew how to rap all the way from Infinite, but what blew him up was the Slim Shady LP with all the crazy antics and all the crazy, you know, the antics to it, the the sounds he used, the like, I don't give a F attitude and all the craziness. So, so it makes sense that in order to teach himself how to rap, he kind of, he kind of went back to his roots and kind of what he remembers, which the antics got him out of that or, or or blew him up. So it's like your muscle memory is going to remind you like, okay, I need to do something like antic wise. And then he he went with um all these different accents so that makes sense relax i'm going back to that now all i'm trying to say is get back quick clap clap because i ain't playing around it's a game called circle and i don't know how i'm way too up to back down but i think i'm still trying to figure this crap out thought i had it mapped out but i guess i didn't this fucking black glass that follows me around but it's time to exercise these demons these motherfuckers are doing jumping jacks now I love that part. You guys know when I start singing, like, and I get hyped, that's why. But there's a game called Circle, and I don't know how I'm way too up to back down, right? We already talked about that. Um, we got to go to the next one. Even though I'm looking at this right now, and I am confused on there's a game called Circle. Oh, because life, life goes in full circle. Okay. But then he says, but I think I'm still trying to figure this crap out. Thought I had it mapped out, but I guess I didn't. This fucking black cloud still follows me around. Uh, uh, It's time to exercise these demons. These motherfuckers are doing jumbo jacks. Like, if a black cloud is following you around, he's talking about despair. He's talking about the stress. He's talking about um, all the demons he had, like losing proof. Uh, Talking about, you know... Almost losing his life, talking about his, his losing his family at this point. Like his baby mama went into drugs because of M getting big. Like a lot of messed up things happen because of rap to M. So that's what he means by it's time to exercise these demons. And then also the drugs, you know, his drug addiction he had. I believe that's probably the biggest. I don't know. Do you think that's the biggest one to M? Or do you think. Do you think what what he probably feels responsible for, um, like break like his family in turmoil the way that it was, you know, at this point in his life? Because before this point in his life, he didn't he wouldn't take responsibility or look for look at like, damn, there's a lot of things. Like he may not be the main cause of it, but I know he probably feels like he's the one that messed up everything in his family's life, like in like Haley not being able to um, 
be out in public. Kim going through what she went through. Uh, and he probably holds that weight on him. Um, but at this tough point in his life, now he's completely sober. And he's probably had so long to think about these things. And so much time to think about these things. That he could probably understand that. And the only reason I understand that so well. Is because like. I never used to be able to take responsibility. Like I always like, no, my baby mama left. She did this. She she messed up the family with my daughter and this and that. But now I can look back on that period and understand like I caused a lot of things to happen. I caused a lot of that. You know, like I was a big reason for it. And before you wouldn't get that out of me. And I, but it's not that I was holding it in. It's that I actually did not think I was a problem. I didn't think I... I, I took no responsibility. But then after years went on, um, and I was able to think about things and clear my mind, I understand that now too. Circle and I don't know how, I'm way too up to back down. But I think I'm still trying to figure this crap out. Thought I had it mapped out, but I guess I didn't. This fucking black cloud still follows me around, but it's time to exercise. These demons, these motherfuckers are doing jumping jacks now. I did it for me, admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you So I could come back a brand new me, you helped see me through And don't even realize what you did, cause believe me you I've been through the ringer, but they can do little to the middle finger I think I got a tear in my eye, I feel like the king of my world Haters can make like bees with no stingers and drop dead No more beef flingers, no more drama from now on I promise to focus solely on handling my responsibilities as a father So I solemnly swear to always treat this roof like my daughters and raise it Yeah, now we can talk about it. I had to let that whole verse go through because that fucking verse is phenomenal. Uh, like, without any of the bars, without any of the rhyme schemes, without just off the content alone. The fucking, like, you heard his voice even. Like, like when you listen to the first verse and the second verse, and then if you're really listening, you can hear his voice change up a little bit because he's got that emotion on this part. And it's like, oh, no. Like, every, I, I overcame the drugs, I overcame all this shit, I overcame almost dying, so, not, like, he's got that will in him, he's got that fight in him now, and you can hear it, and I relate to that completely, you know, uh, so I, I can, like, really sit here and appreciate the tone that he comes with on that verse, I can appreciate the the feeling he's probably he, he's he had when putting this verse out. But and then just the inspiration, the motivation, and then being able to bar on that verse as well the way he does. I mean, M does that all the time. But come on now, and now we can go through the content of it. It was my decision to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you. So first off, the rhyme scheme right there, get clean. I, I did it for me immediately. I probably did it subliminally. And then it, it was my choice to get clean, right? And he's saying, I did it for me. I did it for myself. I did it because I don't want my life in turmoil no more. I don't want to affect my family no more. I don't want to affect my fans no more. I don't want to, I don't want to affect other people's lives no more. And now he's able to see that. He's able to see that even like when you're when you're on drugs or when you're on like alcohol, whatever it is that you're addicted to, 
You know, you don't see how you're affecting people around you. You don't see it. Um, there's some people that may, and then there's some people that think they see it, right? In 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 certain moments, but in the far like looking back at it, you in those moments you're only thinking you're seeing you're affecting someone because a certain situation just happens or. It's, it's like blatantly in front of your face. But you don't understand that 24-7, you're affecting so many people. And that's why he says, admittedly I, admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you. And I think he's talking about his daughter. I think he's talking about Kim. I think he's talking about his mom. I think he's talking about the fans. I think he's talking about uh, thinking about proof. I think he's talking about everything when he says subliminally for you. I don't think that's him talking just directly to one person or one thing. I think that's like like of everything in his life that he's thinking about when he says that. And so I could come back, a brand new me, you helped me see me through and don't even realize what you did. And I came back a brand new me because I literally overcame overdose. I literally overcame death at this point. And I, I overcame this, so now I'm a whole brand new me. I got a brand new persona. I got a brand new attitude. I got a brand new everything. Enough, now I'm so fed it up. Time to put my life back together right now, now. It was my decision to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you. So I could come back a brand new me. You helped see me through. And don't even realize what you did. Cause believe me, you, I've been through the ringer. But they can do little to the middle finger. I but they can do little to the middle finger. I've been through the ringer, but they can do little to the middle finger. So he's calling himself the middle finger. He's like a walking fuck you because I overcame everything. It takes, believe me, you. Oh, I've been yeah. through the ringer, but they can do little lie. to the middle you know, finger. I never knew what he said right there when he said I've been through the ringer. But I, I knew I knew he said that. I never knew he said, but they can do little to the middle finger. I never heard him ever say. They can do little to the middle finger. I never knew what he said when he said they can do little. I didn't know he was saying that. So I, that's a, that's a like a real catch right there. That's yeah. what you did. Believe me, you. I've been through the ringer, but they can do little to the middle finger. I think I got a tear in my eye. I feel like the king of my world. Haters can make like bees when those stingers and drop dead. No more beef. Haters can. What the fuck? Damn it. The king of my. Can make like bees with no stingers and drop dead because when bees lose their stinger they drop dead is that all bees or is that just one bee that's like queen bees right that's the queen bees when they lose their stinger they drop dead i think or is it all bees i don't know more no more beef lingers i don't know what beef lingers is i that that part i don't know i just don't know what beef lingers i don't know what that means but I can I can I can understand what it means from context clues, but I don't actually definite know what that part means. So if anyone can um let me know about that part, beef lingers, that would be great. But from the context point of it, I understand what he can do little to the middle finger. I think I got a tear in my eye. I feel like the king of my world. Haters can make like bees when no stingers and drop dead. No more beef lingers, no more drama from now on. I promise to focus solely on hand. Abilities as a father, so I solemnly swear to always treat this roof like my daughters and raise it. You couldn't lift a single single on it. On it. Yeah. I, I solemnly swear to always treat this roof like my daughters and raise it because he raised his daughters. And I'm so I love that he put that in there because even with everything that went on in his life, even with the drug addictions, even with all the things he's lost, even with how turmoil his family. And just his life was in general. He's shouting that out. Showcasing like. Even with all this shit. I, I still raised my daughters. I still was in their life. Through all of it. I still raised them. That's like a big. I love that. Because that's how I felt. That one hits me spot the fuck on. Because that's how I felt. I literally. It was everything that went on in my life, everything that was up against me, everything that was this. I still made a commitment and I raised my daughter. Not only time that went by, 
with a few months that my daughter was just up and gone because when she left with with our daughter and, and those until I could get a lawyer but right when we got a lawyer I have been there the entire time and I was there before that the entire time so only a few months went without which was not my choice but that's why I feel that like I feel every single ounce of that part. I feel like the king of my world haters can make like bees with no stingers and drop dead yeah. no more beef flingers no more drama from now I want to promise to focus solely on handling my responsibilities as a father so I solemnly swear to always treat this roof like my daughters and raise it you couldn't lift a single single on it cause the way I feel I'm strong enough to go to the club or the corner pub and lift the whole liquor counter up cause I'm raising the bar I shoot for the moon I'm going to the corner pub and and lift the whole liquor counter up because I'm raising the bar. But he's raising the bars with the bars in this song. He's raising the bar for himself. He personally is raising his own statue, his own bar that he sets for him. Just and he and he already did raise it when he overcame all the drug addiction. He raised it in real time when he put this out. And that's why I said I'd shoot for the moon, but I'm too busy gazing at stars. Like, I'd shoot for the moon, but I'm already past the moon. It's how he... Up on the corner pub and lift the whole liquor counter up. Cause I'm raising the bar. I shoot for the moon, but I'm too busy gazing at stars. I feel amazing and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Take a stand. Fire. Effing, effing fire, y'all. I love that song. The, the only thing about that song is I wish, like, so I'm so happy that that song got as much views as it got and that, that song got as much attention as it got. But this is why I cannot stand the radio because the radio takes songs and plays the shit out of them. So it's like, this is another song. Like, look how inspirational that song is. Look how many bars he had in that song. Look at how just motivational. Everything about that song is just phenomenal. The beat itself was great. Everything about it. Not one bad criticism on that song. And I think a lot of people can't put a criticism on that song, right? And if you can, I'd love to hear someone's criticism on a song like that. Um. But my point is, like, the radio plays it out to where I don't, I, I don't, I won't personally play that song. Like, that song won't go in my Eminem playlist, you know, because I've heard it so many times. And that's because of the radio, even though that should be one of the top songs ever in, on my playlist because of how great that song is. So that's why I can't stand the radio. But thank you for that, Laura. I appreciate you um, stopping by. I appreciate you, all the M requests that you bring. You know I, you've seen me get so hype about how I love that I finally got somebody requesting M on this channel. Uh, so thank you so much. Have a good night at work. And thank you, Lori, as well. Catch you guys on the next one. And thank you for the request, Laura.